I believe that great engineering is characterized by a search for rigor. And if we look at the history of engineering, we see an evolution from basic rules of thumb to much more rigorous analyses that we do today. In systems engineering, we manage rigor by developing a series of documents that allow us to bring perspective and focus into different areas of the design. However, we also see a number of challenges to this document-based approach. When I change one component for the system, I have to change the documentation for that component, but I may well also have to change a number of other documents that relate to it. Now, one of the solutions that's been proposed for this is model-based systems engineering, or that we had a single source of truth for the design that all of the actors in the organization participate in, and therefore we eliminate the potential for change propagation because we're all working on a single source. By putting it all into one model, you can achieve a comprehensive ability to keep that data consistent. As long as there's good configuration control processes in place in collaboration with the tool. Over the course of the next four weeks, we're going to spend time on what are the basic tenets of model-based systems engineering? Overarching model. We're going to cover an introduction to data modeling and the idea of querying a model. How do you critique a new model that's been proposed? And we're also going to spend a lot of time talking about how do I manage a model? Who has access? Who gets to change the model? And how do I support this model over its life cycle? At the very early stages, you want to be very dynamic, all share one environment, so you can have people working on the same diagram at the same time. In this course, we're going to evaluate, does MBSE offer promise in the search for rigor? And does it have any potential limitations or concerns in the context of the evolution of systems engineering? It's eliminating the use of multiple models across multiple repositories. I think that's going to make model-based system engineering really influential and effective in the future.